In this video, I'm going to show you how to quicken your analyses by eliminating unnecessary node gaps and unused properties. I will show you how to purge nodes, remove properties, and squeeze the matrix. One reason you may have to squeeze the matrix is if you get error 201434. This is caused by high node label numbering or large gaps. This can be caused because you are manipulating the model by copying and translating it, deleting elements and nodes, or changing the density. Really anything that can affect the mesh. The solution to this error is to squeeze the matrix, which is what I'll show you today. The part that I'm working on is this filter housing. So in order to represent this, I'm going to click on a node by coordinate and put it on the part. Here we can see that it's node 100,117 and 462. So I'm going to write that down. The first thing we want to do is purge nodes. By clicking purge nodes and hitting apply, we can see that 45 nodes were removed. Next, we can squeeze the matrix. So what you do is click on global merge. Make sure that everything is unchecked except for squeeze entity labels and hit apply. Now nothing pops up, but the global merge tool can be used to eliminate unused node labels and renumber the nodes and elements sequentially without altering the mesh. Eliminating unused labels and renumbering entities sequentially is called squeezing and will save on computer memory and analysis time once it's been accomplished. So now if we go back and add another node this time, We can see that the node number is a lot smaller because it did renumber them and put them in sequential order. Lastly, the third simple trick is to remove unused properties. If you make changes to a mesh model, for example, create a midplane mesh from a dual domain mesh, or change thicknesses of certain elements, the old properties will be orphaned and retained in the study file. Insight will tell you how many unused properties were removed. These are just a few simple tips to help you get your analysis time down.